tomorrow in salutations, fellow scholars. You ain't clean your ears this morning. Take a seat, Billy. Okay, class, so today we're focusing on war strategies of ancient civilizations. We're talking going back all the way to the Romans, the Greeks, the Mongolians, and then we're coming up through... Oh, oh, did you know my arm can be awkward like this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Billy, we know. I'm starting to wonder why you find so much entertainment in turning your arms inside out like that. Can we all just focus now and pay attention? Again, we're talking war strategies. This is history, guys. This is great stuff. It's the Incas, the Mayans, and then we'll go delve into the 21st century. This is really cool stuff. So please, let's really focus here today and let's get this done. Billy, are you paying attention? Of course I'm paying attention. Just not to you. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time. Military tactics are both a science and an art. They answer the questions of how best to deploy and employ forces on a small scale. Some practices have changed since the dawn of warfare, some have not. Still using ambushes, seeking and turning flanks, maintaining reconnaissance, creating and using obstacles and defenses, using ground to best to their advantage and has not changed much either. Heights, rivers, swamps, passes. <laughs> Mr. Fitzgerald, this... <laughs> Mr. Fitzgerald! Billy! For the last time. But Mr. Fitzgerald. Be quiet or I'll send you to the principal's office. But, but the janitor and, and the kid and, and, and. I told you not to daydream. Now go to the principal's office. Ah, Billy. Come on in. So, Billy, why are you here today? Because Mr. Fitzgerald didn't believe me. Didn't believe you? What didn't he believe, Billy? Well, well, I looked outside, and, and I saw the janitor, and he killed Lee. So you saw the janitor kill Lee? Well, not exactly. I, I saw what happened after, though. Um, Billy? Yes? Uh, are you feeling okay? Did, did something happen over the weekend? Or did you forget to take your meds or something like that? Why don't you believe me? I, I know what I saw. Well, Billy, let me tell you something. When you're not feeling well, when you're really not, you know, things aren't normal, sometimes you can see things that aren't really there. But, but, but I, I saw it. I, I know it. it's not been on my imagination. I saw it. I know it. Why don't you believe me? Billy, I really think you forgot to take your meds today. Oh, I took extra, but... Oh. There. That's your problem. You took extra. Now go back to class, and if I see you again, it's detention. Present. It's always been around. Mankind has been killing each other forever. The things that have changed the most over time is how we engage one another. Psst. Psst. Hey. Hey, did you see that? What are you talking about? Guy, you got killed by the janitor. Didn't you see that? <laughs> You're crazy, man. No one seems to believe me. Try to try to convince everyone around here, but no one will listen. I don't understand it. I don't believe me that I'm being honest here. The only way that I can avenge Lee is to find the janitor myself and take him down.
So did you ever kill that kid? Oh yeah, his body's right under the football field right now. They'll never find him. You should have saw his face when I grabbed him. Nice one. <laughs> I hated that kid. Well, I gotta go now. Why'd you do it? Do what? Clean the locker room? No, why'd you kill him? I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you kill Lee! Oh, you mean Lee? You really want to know why I did it? Yeah? Let's just say he had bad aim. But you killed him over that? I don't see you cleaning the school. If you did, you'd understand my frustration. But you killed him over that? Yeah, and what are you going to do about it, Billy? But, uh, uh... I'm, I'm gonna tell a teacher. You're, you're not gonna get away with this. I don't think so, Billy. 